we're checking out MatPat's Final Theory. This has been a channel that I have loved watching for years. I have loved Game Theory. I had to do a reaction to it. I thought I'd make you jump in on it with me. I haven't watched it, so... But you have seen him, like, you've seen some of the videos I've shown you. I'm familiar you. with who he is. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. showing up on um, FNAF. Mm -hmm. that, that was such a weird game, yeah. <laughs> but I'm really excited to check this out. This was He was one of the channels that really inspired this channel. Um, I've watched his channel a lot. A lot of his info on YouTube and how to grow, I've been watching him for years now. So half the reason the channel looks the way it is is because I've been taking inspiration from him. He, To me, he is such a really well-rounded, really good content creator. So I'm really sad that he's leaving, but it shows what retiring from YouTube looks like and how to retire from YouTube in a really good way. And so he's been preparing everyone. And so this might be us one day. He's, he's got a few million more subscribers than us, but we'll, we'll get there. But if you haven't already, hit that like button. Come your thoughts. Let's dive on in. Final game theory. I might be sad. <laughs> I've missed that intro. I was about to ask if it's the intro for his like shows and stuff. Yeah, um, this is the first time I've seen him do an intro in a while. He talks about actually not doing intros as much. Oh, this is all the different intros that he's done over the years. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! Where last that time he's going to say that. Is the last time that I'll be saying those words officially on this channel. Oh. Loyal theorists, how do you say goodbye? 13 Bye. years ago, I made you this promise. Do you want Does to know more about the games mind, what you love do? without having oh, to put in on any on work of your own? Well, he's gonna do, now he's gonna you can play still. and learn. <laughs> he's just going to build right, an empire Weberverse. from behind the scenes. We have okay. created Game Theory, gaming's tangential learning experience. Well, <laughs> Weboverse, here we are today. 3,000 videos of tangential learning wow. later. How do you sum a lot of videos. I already got super weepy in the last one of Aww. these things, so mm. probably shouldn't do that again. It'd be redundant and probably not great for the tech equipment. We've also <laughs> spent the last 10 weeks together knowing His that this day was going to come, right? So I really feel like I've gotten my farewell tour. I've buried hatchets. I've rekindled friendships. I mean, sweeping videos about the state of online entertainment. Fired some tanks. That was legitimately mm. Oh, that would have cool. been fun. I honored my heritage. I made Disney mad at me one final time, which, you know, I watched that video. Got some oh, new okay. And just he in goes after general, Disney a lot. Sped ran my way through Not all the things way, that were left in my content what doing. bucket list. <laughs> so again, I ask, how do you say goodbye? First, it's probably most important to remind you that it's not officially goodbye, right? It's not like I'm dying or anything. It's more of a see you later. I'm still gonna be doing plenty of stuff. Like, I'm already booked to do the fashion show on Style Theory oh, later this year. I'm still gonna be here cool. on the couch for GT Live. In a couple weeks, I'm gonna be giving a speech over at PAX. I was see, recently still busy. Kill Count. Heck, I'm already slated to do the Jacksepticeye podcast, the Ludwig podcast. Wow. There's a collaboration I'm doing with Shea Frillis Productions. There's the FNAF musical over on Random Encounters. Like, I will what? be doing a lot. Why would they you do a FNAF musical? Of me doing all these things on everyone else's channels. But if you do want to stay in touch with me, there are actually two ways that you could do it. Normally, I'd say something like, oh, you can follow me on Twitter, but uh, we all know that there's like a grand total of zero people who want to be over on that platform. So instead, <laughs> I decided to make it yeah. A mysterious website oh. named wherismatpat.com. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a place that I update every once in a while when I have news about some new project that's coming up. I guess or, I'm going to have you know, to check out that website. That you're going to have to solve by digging through the source code. Yes, it's a ripoff of scottgames.com. No, I don't feel bad about that because he stole enough of my ideas over the years. He kind of owes me one. <laughs> Editor that's drop funny. on some deal with its sunglasses in this moment. Yeah, that's a good one. He what brings in a sure lot of history of email. YouTube worry, as a whole. Don't worry, I'm not going to be spamming you with updates or anything. It'll be more like a MatPat newsletter. Or maybe a Christmas card that you get every once in a while with a funny update. Or maybe we could chat oh. about a favorite movie or something. I'll send over the occasional video <laughs> well, that, that I've just inspired like to make. Who knows? Basically, this is just meant to be a way to let you all know what I'm up to directly. See, in the way I think that the editing for his videos are so good because they're you know? just not, off. This week, I'll be you know, selecting 100 get too in your face. random emails that sign up to get personalized letters. And from that point forward, once or twice a week, I'll continue pulling a handful of emails to send personal notes to. It'll be a fun Aww, way to stay in touch. Long nice. story short, make sure you bookmark it since you never know what might happen over there. But, um, all right, enough stalling. Back to the question at hand. How do you say goodbye? Well, 
I think you honestly have to end it all where it began. This, this title, a game theory about game theory. Did you know hmm. that game theory isn't just a nerdy YouTube show? It's also a nerdy economics concept. <sighs> if that's news to you, I honestly can't blame you. At this point, we've created enough confusion online that apparently we've merited our own disambiguation tag on Wikipedia huh. for game theory searches. Oh, that's kind of neat. For the first five years of the show, I received so many tweets from people who are mid-year in their economics courses, screenshotting their textbooks, freaking out when they got to the episode on game... It's not an episode, it's a chapter. When they got through the chapter on game theory, being like, cool to have oh my gosh, dude, term that did you know that you were in this thing? And yeah. Maybe Galaxy yeah, Geeks will get there one day. definitely did. The pun, believe it or not, was intentional. In fact, Steph and I knew from the very beginning that it was likely that the final episode of game theory was going to be about game theory. Why? Hmm. Well, because game theory, it's everywhere. You, you can't escape it. If you've ever seen the movie Love Actually, there's actually this opening monologue in it I that goes a little something like this. Seen all we live in a world of I've hatred and greed, but I don't see that. Seems to me that love is everywhere. If you look for it, you'll find that love actually is all around. Now you just gotta replace the word love with game theory, and you basically got it. We live in a world of <laughs> hatred and greed, but I don't see that. Seems to me that game theory is everywhere. If you look for it, <laughs> you'll so find funny. that game theory actually is all around. Who would have suspected funny. that English acting megastar and recent Oompa Loompa Hugh Grant would be making a guest <laughs> appearance in my final episode? Truly, truly we have spared no expense for this one. And not yeah, only is Game Theory sure. just everywhere, it also holds the secret to winning everything forever. Yeah, I know, right? That is what? a huge claim to make. Clearly, I was saving all my biggest secrets for the grand finale. So, you know what? Let's not beat around the bush anymore, my friends. Let's make you masters of the universe and reveal how, whether you like it or not, you all are theorists for life. Come on. Are we? Oh, oh, okay. I guess so. Yeah, we're moving off the couch this time. That's how you know it's a big deal. <laughs> Let's go. At its core, funny. game theory is the science of strategy. So we gamers, we understand strategy, but what exactly is game theory specifically? Well, hmm. to understand that, you have to go back to the original game theorist, not me, this guy, this guy right here. He Who's might that? not have himself the red leather jackets or the cool diamond play buttons, but I'll tell you what he does have a crater on the moon named after himself, so I'll John let you decide who has the bigger flex Cra there. Newman. This guy right here, okay. he is mathematician John Von Neumann, and he was everywhere right. yes. back in the day. And I do mean everywhere. Like, this guy was a key player in the invention of the digital computer, he helped with the discovery uh -huh. of the structure of DNA, even the creation of key components for Oppenheimer's Manhattan Project. You know, the, oh, the Christopher cool. Nolan movie where big things go big booms. But perhaps his biggest mm -hmm. claim to fame was game theory. The idea that in any situation where there are two or more people People, or players in this case, you can model out a game that'll help you find the best outcome. Have you ever played rock, huh. paper, scissors and thrown out rock as the first hand? Because you know, statistically, most people choose their first move to be scissors. First. Or maybe you picked paper because the last three moves have been rock and they're obviously gonna be throwing rock again. Well, congratulations, that is game theory in action. And he got a medal of freedom for that. So it just goes to show, what? don't let your dreams just be dreams, kids. Sometimes getting an honorary <laughs> medal is a lot easier than you think. I in love short, game means. theory is the study of strategic choice. It's math that tells you what people are gonna do and who's gonna win the game. Probably the most famous example of a game theory scenario is the prisoner's dilemma, where two accomplices have just committed a oh, crime and they're both one. given the chance to narc on the other one. If they both deny the crime, well, they both get a short prison sentence. If okay, one of them denies the crime and the other rats him out, the narc walks free while his buddy huh. is stuck in prison for a long time. And if they both confess, they both get a medium sentence. We can model the possible outcomes here in a nice, neat, mathy so looking square. And while technically deny. the best the outcome for both of them would be to trust each other and not confess they're criminals and they don't know each other that well. And because they don't trust each other, by the math, both of them narc on each other and oh, as a result okay. get a medium amount of prison time. Or if that all's too complicated and hypothetical, over in England, they turn the whole thing into a game show where they say the word balls an uncomfortable amount of times. Welcome to Golden Balls. What? Golden Balls. Balls of riches, 12 balls. Have you heard of this game? No. 100 golden balls, and they're all bursting with money. Killer balls. 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 <laughs> balls. Now, why am I bringing all this up? Well, game theory is more than just wads of cash jammed into a bunch of balls. Someone should tell Mr. Beast that I just discovered his next video idea. No, it has very <laughs> real consequences for the I world. Back when the US and USSR were on the brink of atomic annihilation, the principles of game theory helped both sides reach an agreement to slowly disarm their nuclear arsenals. If you want to know more about that story, Veritasium's recent video on game theory does a great job telling it. And honestly, I can't really improve huh. on it. So thanks for doing all the research for my final episode there, Derek. 
If you want an example that's a bit closer to home though, here you go. YouTube. YouTube. Got it. See, YouTube as a platform is just a bunch of zeros and ones, right? But YouTube like as a community is YouTube, a network of people constantly I've trying to make strategic decisions. Creators or time. players who are more or less like. rational people making videos that'll get you to watch and like and comment <laughs> and subscribe. You, the viewer, you're also a player in this. You're on a strategic mission to win the experience by finding the thing that's most satisfying to watch. And the people who run, or at least Lot have run stuff. YouTube in the past, shout out to Todd, Jake, Neil, Ernest, Meg, Ariel, Susan, David, Betty, oh. Wow. Vader, Stephanie, and Kim, they're all in a strategic game to keep the creators and viewers happy while also figuring out the best possible outcome for YouTube as a company by appeasing all the advertisers and shareholders. It is seriously a complex strategic arena. And that's how you get decisions like use bright green text because it's more likely to stand out in a sea of dark gaming thumbnails and more Wait, likely to get really? clicks. Launch shorts as a means to counterattack huh. against TikTok. Do a video on something that's that. not trending so you can stand out from the pack. Or maybe you lean in so you're suggested against the algorithm. Every video you watch everything that you click on it's the product of trending. creators using game theory slap a big old game theory colon in front of every title and slam some clickbait green text on every thumbnail all those hundreds of millions of Even subscribers to jimmy and ryan trahan and coco melon i like videos. to think that they're all secretly ours where's our 200 million subscriber play button there youtube in the end it's all wow. game Ooh. theory speaking of and and this is just an aside that i learned about earlier this week apparently there's a chrome extension that allows you to do exactly what i just described it quote unquote what? Matt patifies your YouTube feed by putting green text on like every thumbnail. Just saying, we have reached Wait, the peak of human achievement. I, have I for to one really like this one now. where it's Link and saying mommy's hungry. That's just traumatic on a whole nother level. Or there was one that I saw circulating online, Ryan Gosling doing a puppy interview and the title is Birth of a Killer. Uh, there was another one that showed up on the subreddit, Afton's Final Death Smash. <laughs> I gotta say, I am what? proud of the mark that I will leave on this I am platform. so gonna check but that so out. What, right? YouTube is game theory. Sure, that's great. It's interesting. But why does it matter to you, right? Why am I spending so much time talking about all of this in my final episode? Well, because like I said, game theory can help in every strategic interaction that you have. And it's produced a literal strategy guide on the best way to live out your life, tried and tested by all our grandfather theorists. But to truly understand that, we have to go back to where it all began, a glorified PowerPoint presentation. Weboverse, oh, allow no. me to introduce you to lights, please. The trust I've not game. Seen PowerPoint in I love a while. this. We started as glorified PowerPoint slides and we're ending as glorified PowerPoint slides. Here's the TLDR of this one. The trust game was originally just named the computer tournament by a guy named Robert Axelrod, clearly not the most creative with his titling conventions. Basically, this was the prisoner's dilemma or the golden balls thing, except here, there was one crucial difference. They're not just playing the game once, they are literally playing it hundreds of times, repeating it over and over again to see what strategies end huh, up winning okay. the most across a longer period. This then gives us a model that's shockingly closer to real life, because here, most of the time, you're not just thinking about what you have to do to win a single game, you have to actually think about the consequences of your actions. The more people think about the future, the more they're willing to cooperate because they don't want to screw themselves over down the road, you know? Again, for details on that experiment, okay. check out Derek Veritasium's video where he talks about all of that, including that doing an interview with the game's creator. It's a very cool video. I also borrowed his uh, convention for that one. So thanks for the latter and the idea there, Derek. You can also watch Dr. Trevor Bassett's video on the topic or, you know, yeah, various TED Talks that are all about yeah. this experiment. We'll link to all of those down in the description below. But just to jump I'm to the big conclusion here, the below. best strategy to <laughs> yeah. winning it big boils down to four key points. Number one, be cooperative, lead with trust. Assuming that the person you're okay. playing with is your enemy right off the bat, it's not gonna serve you well. Trust in others, it's gonna let you win more frequently in the end. Secondly, okay, don't be a pushover. Gaming, sure, also in it's good in to be trusting, that is great. But the second that someone takes advantage of your trust, the winning strategy is to call them out on it and then sometimes. immediately hold them accountable. That's something I kind of struggle with, Which leads nicely then to point number three, mm -hmm. being forgiving. Don't hold a mm -hmm. grudge. Don't be a Mr. Darcy. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. That is a failing indeed. You tell her, girl, friend? you are exactly right. Oh. She's speaking some game theory truth right there. Well, sure, it hurts to have your trust broken. Staying open to the chance that other people can change, that they can grow and learn and get better, that is the ideal solution here. The trust game showed that players who held their opponent accountable but then forgave them actually won out more often than any other strategy. 
And lastly, it's important oh, to be okay. honest and open about your strategy. When people can't understand what you're thinking, that's then when mistrust starts to breed. By being honest, it breeds honesty in others. It allows you to build on that trust over time, one step, bit by bit. Across I mean, the thousands of rounds of testing, nice that. strategies that were fair, but also firm, ultimately won out the most. Now, when I read these outcomes, what really struck me first was how they present a really hopeful view of the world. A hopeful view that I don't think a lot of us carry around a lot. I mean, it's easy to assume that everyone out there is out to get you, and it's easier to just close off the people who've wronged us in the past, but math, and game theory specifically, proves... What's interesting, though, is wrong. the idea of forgiveness and, hey, that he's if you don't want to believe push, thousands of rounds good. of computer simulations, there is a very solid real-life example, YouTube. YouTube is a positive sum game, which means that more than one person can win. And in fact, a lot of times, the more others win, the more you can win. I'm too. hoping we can when win I was more. Just starting off, I was so mad. I mean, we've and said scared YouTube when is Vsauce game. 3 released yeah. this video. And, and that's how you look Sonic at it. Speed. I mean, I've been working you're going to grow on YouTube. I do think you have to look at it. I've grinding away and seeing a fair amount of growth. But in that moment, I saw a spin off of one of YouTube's top subscribed channels just horning in on my territory of gaming science. It was like they were going to steamroll me, they were going to steal my audience away. So I did a video where I tried to stake my claim oh. and thus sonic is slow was born hello internet welcome to game theory applying science to video games since april 18th of 2011 recently however a new gaming scientist has come onto the scene oh, man, the good folks a... over at <laughs> vsauce 3 recently took video. a gander at a game series i covered in episode 5 it's a great video except for one thing it's wrong <laughs> listen to my voice in that Oh, I'm so proud that I finally hit puberty, like, seven years into making these videos. <laughs> anyway, you can tell that I'm super so salty sad. in this one, right? I'm asserting that I did it first. I'm citing the dates. I am literally trying to one-up Vsauce 3. But then something interesting happened. I got views hmm. from Vsauce. I saw that their video and mine were actually helping each other. I was so afraid of me yeah. losing a year uh -huh. of hard-earned progress. But in reality, I wasn't just operating on my own island anymore. By unintentionally cooperating with each other, we had just created our own little micro-trend of gaming science content. What's interesting is, like, even with, like, like movie and trailer reactions, and I, in our we ended up being looked into a home bunch of other point, channels that, YouTube that are, like, is a place where all shit can rise. Mm -hmm. Leading with trust goes a long way. From inviting someone to collab on your channel, to comparing notes on production because it can help you both. You yeah, actually we see might this need kind to collab more. Game theory and action We're not good at that. Houses, or projects like the QSMP where creators are helping each other and sharing audiences. On the flip side, there are creators who haven't done a good job of leading with trust and who've approached YouTube as a zero-sum game, a place where there can only be one winner. And guess what? Didn't work. Back in 2020, a few of the top mm. beauty creators tried to take each other down, encouraging viewers not to watch each other, trying to turn audiences against people that they huh. thought were their competitors. Okay. It was for the clout, it was for the views, and it backfired. In fact, it backfired so badly that all of their channels took a massive hit. And the beauty vertical, which was once a main pillar of YouTube's huh. earliest days, never See, I'm shocked by that because normally by working like, together, the platform to thrives, really well. so like, kind of but by thinking uh, that shopping. you can only win when other people lose, well, that's when everyone loses. It's kind of sad. Let's move on. But if you don't want to listen to mathematicians or YouTube meta analyses, just look at me. Game Theory The Show is a testament to those four lessons of Game Theory, the nerdy economics concept. Every person who's hmm. built this channel has led with trust. Ronnie. He put his own show on the back burner so he could dedicate his time to editing game theory, trusting that we would videos. be able to succeed more okay. together. He helped the show to truly become what I had always dreamed it would be, and I honestly wish that he could be here to this day so I could thank him so much for that. The same is true for oh, Goomba and Drake who, and Lee and Ryder and all the other partner shows who joined up with us in lieu of working on their own channels. Uh, Steph. She left being a consultant at a real company in the medical field on the belief that by cooperating, we could actually make something really special together. That's uh, Jason, cool. uh, who is actually right here behind the camera right now. Uh, Jason, who you know as the guy that we blame all the time on uh, GT Live. Uh, Jason <laughs> was Theorist's first full-time employee Poor after guy. me and Steph. He jumped in there when all we had was a kitchen table and a cat that he was constantly alerted to and uh, Sudafed. You oh, have this man to thank for your current net worth because and Zyrtec. And, and Zyrtec. And Zyrtec. You have yeah. taken so many pills over the years. <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> but all medically prescribed, <laughs> though, I promise. Yeah, no, medically. Good medical pills, not 
anything sketchy, for sure. Uh, but Jason is the man that yeah, we yeah, trusted yeah, sure, with yeah. the weight of the entire production process across all the channels for years. Like, this man is the unsung hero of everything you've probably ever watched across any of the channels. Without him, mm -hmm. without you, mm -hmm. without you, none of these videos would get made. He's about to cry. Oh, he's crying. Get back there, okay? Oh. Enough of you. I gotta thank other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, friendship first, but also working together to create awesome stuff, right? And if you're talking about unsung heroes on this channel, there is one man who also deserves a call out, and his name is Yossi. He is our audio wizard. He is the Oop. man who okay. I have trusted with my voice for the better part of nine years. He has had to suffer through more hours of my voice than anyone else in the world. <laughs> I am so sorry, oh, poor guy. I am so sorry for all the burps and weird edits and weird diatribes and jump scares <laughs> that Ali has given me over the years. Was Yossi a pro when he first joined up with us? No. But you know what he was willing to do? He was willing to learn. Mm. And I've trusted him with my voice for the better part of nine years. And the same goes for another member That's of the cool. team who you've never gotten to see but was actually there before the channel was even monetized, which is kind of crazy to think about. You don't know Dan Levitt, uh, but Dan was another one. He was the mm. first who actually saw potential in me and in these channels as a whole, offering to become my manager, even See, though he had I, I never managed just a the YouTuber of YouTubers before. He just and jumped in with two feet and said, it, hey, because I've he never gotten a brand fun. deal in the past, but I think I could do it for you. And he did. And then he got me literally hundreds more. He has his own management company now, <laughs> and he manages some of the biggest sports creators on all of YouTube. Yeah, I can say cool. with complete confidence that this company and my career would have looked totally different had it not been for Dan. And his career and his company would have looked totally different without me. He and I have built Pokemon businesses tournament. parallel to each other, I love right that next game. to each other, using cooperative game theory for over a decade. He trusts me to make good decisions on YouTube, and I trust him to make good decisions as my manager. And we both flossing. benefit in the long run. Oh, but perhaps the most important person <laughs> I, I in never all been of these floss. trusting relationships mm -hmm. is you. You guys, right here, I, I wear you on my wrist these days. You loyal theorists Aww. have been the best example of game theory in the history of the show Game Theory. Every time you click Aww. on one of these videos, you are leading with trust. You are saying, you know what? I'm gonna give this one a chance, especially on those episodes that are covering topics that you've never even heard of. And on my end, I've always tried my best Aww. to fulfill on that promise and make sure that your trust pays off by delivering a great, well-researched, mm -hmm. fun, a lot of times stupid video. And yeah, I want to go been to plenty a Comic Con one month, day where like, see you weren't happy about a topic or like where I said something <laughs> wrong or my research was bad or whatever, and I needed to learn about that. And so you, acting exactly as you should, according to that trust game, you called me out in those moments. You showed me that I had made a mistake. But more importantly, Aww. you were willing to forgive. You gave me a chance <laughs> to learn and grow as a creator and as a person. And look, look at this. We all won. Aww. Look at this thing that we managed to build together. Aww, Don't I'm about to cry. Tell anyone else? I mean, there's three of them here in the room, but like the rest of them downstairs. <laughs> you guys, you've always been the most important member of this team, whether or not you ever realized it. Aww. And now, as new hosts step in, yeah, they're obviously going to have to learn a lot and they're going to have to earn your trust just like I did over a prolonged period of time. But I hope that you approach them with the same sense of cooperation and goodwill that you did for me all those years ago. I think so, it's so smart well, the way like that he's transitioning. The show, They're still going to have game theory, but it'll never leave. It'll he's never stepping leave me, away as the host. And he'll never leave you. We are all game theory, which honestly is why I thought it was fitting for you guys to be the one to say this. But hey, that's just a theory. Aww. That's just a theory. It's just, just a theory. <laughs> just a theory. That's just a theory. Aww. A game theory. Blast dismissed. Thanks for the theories, Matt Pat. But hey, that's just a theory. Aww. Just a theory. Just a theory. Aww. Just a theory. Just a theory. Thanks for everything. But hey, that's just a theory. That's just a theory. Just a theory. Just a theory. 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 That's just a 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 theory. A style theory. A food theory. A film theory. A game theory. So those are all the new hosts. Oh. 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 Hanging up his jacket. Thanks for
for watching. What'd you think? It was sweet. I, I liked it. I, I love, to me, I love, I love Game Theory. It's one of my favorite um, channels, just in general. Um, I really, I'm getting a little bit emotional because I, I really have watched them for well, years. Well, you have more of a connection to it than I do. Well, I used to watch in college. Um, whenever I was like getting stuff together or studying, every once in a while I'd, for breaks, I'd watch Game Theory. And then I'd watch so many of his videos on like how to grow on YouTube and like what works, what doesn't work. He looks at everything through the eyes of analytics, which you know me, I, I, I love that. That's my thing. And so I love that perspective. And so that's why I really like watching his channel growing up and through this YouTube journey we've been on. And it's an encouragement for us. We've got to start connecting to our audience more uh, and start building out our community. and. Making sure that y'all know that we care about y'all and that we want to grow this community out where that we can build, start commenting more, start talking to y'all, getting to know y'all a little bit more. We want to start building more of a galaxy of geeks, <laughs> you know, the name of the channel. But that's the goal, but his, he's an inspiration and Matt, you will never watch this probably. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for all your videos, all of the stuff that you've done throughout the years. And yeah, that's just a theory.